Well, here it is Monday afternoon, and as you can probably tell, I'm not at work. I am right off of Argo Road, and if you haven't seen my Argo Road video, I suggest you click on the video up here. But today I'm going to be doing two new things I've never done before. I'm going to be running this mountain bike trail and I'm going to be doing it in these running sandals. Now I bought these sandals about 10 months ago with the plan of trying to do trail runs in running sandals. And all I've ever done in them is walk my dog around the block. So today I'm going to be putting them to their proper use and I'll let you know how it goes. So let me get finished suiting up and then we're gonna hit the trail. Because I'm not familiar with this area, I decided I'm gonna take the blue route, which is a more difficult route. I have no idea what the distance is, so I'm gonna start my Garmin and we'll figure that out at the end. So we're gonna start at three, two, one, go. The name of this park is Landell Park and it's in Lee Summit, Missouri, I believe. Um, I will put a pin or a URL about this location down in the description. The technique I plan on using is to do a midsole strike because these have no padding. I'm probably also going to be running slower because I really need to watch my footing so I don't trip or drag my toes across any rocks or roots. Some of you might be asking if the straps on these sandals are comfortable. And they are. They feel very natural. And you might also be wondering if they cause blisters. I've been wearing them on and off for 10 months. I never got a blister from them, but I have developed a callus. So there probably is a breaking in period, I wouldn't just get out and run in them straight out of the box. Okay, here comes a mountain biker, so I'm getting over and letting them by. Thanks, man. Appreciate no it. problem. Have a good ride. Yeah. Isn't this pretty in here? I bet it's just absolutely amazing when everything is green. They're still really comfortable on gravel. I didn't feel anything poking up or bothering me anyway. This blue trail, it's not very technical. It's smooth, just a little bit of water. Um, I recommend it, definitely. My arches are getting tired, which makes sense. I'm used to, oops, <laughs> arch support, but I'm sure that's something that over time goes away with practice. This is a pretty cool outcropping. It's a little more technical. No, I didn't fall. I just wanted to take a second to demonstrate something. When I run in shoes on a trail and I come up to a root or a rock, instead of always stepping onto it, I sometimes pivot onto it. So what I do is I land with the arch of my foot here and pivot up. It tends to take a little bit less energy. Um, I also don't trip over that obstacle and it doesn't require me to stutter step to miss it but in these sandals it's a little bit painful so it's something I'm gonna have to change about my running it's probably unique to me but that's what I do okay so I've come up on two things I want to show you one this sign that says technical straight ahead but all I see is this drop-off the other thing is this piece someone made to welcome us all into this great year where soon we're going to be able to have live in-person races without having to worry about masks and social distancing. I look forward to that and I thank whoever created that sign for bringing a little bit of joy into my run today. Okay, I'm two and a half miles into this run and so far I have no blisters. I am starting to feel some rubbing between my toes. Okay, I'm three miles in, and I have to say, the straps start hurting a little bit. I don't know how much farther I have to go, but there's a chance I might take my sandals off and try some barefoot running. Sandals are off. 
no visible blisters. I'm just starting to feel some discomfort, so I'm trying to avoid something bad or catastrophic happening. Let's head out. Now, by no means do I think that you should avoid these running sandals. What I do suggest is go out on short runs while you build up the proper callus. And today is the start of the build. Here I am at, no, where the hell am I? <laughs> I'm here. If I take Argo, I can just make it right there to where I started. If I continue on blue, I'm probably gonna have to traverse all of this barefoot. I'm not gonna be doing that. Let's take this easy route. I'm not exactly sure I'm running the right direction. It looks like I'm going west. I'm gonna pull out my phone and check. It actually does look like I'm going the right direction, but I'm gonna use this little stop to eat some pretzel crackers, get up a little bit of energy, take some water, and enjoy all this emptiness that I can enjoy by myself because it's a Monday afternoon. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, here I am back at the trailhead, and I have to say, I had so much fun trying out these trail running sandals. I can't wait to put more miles on them. I also, believe it or not, really enjoyed running barefoot. This is something I might have to look into a little bit more. If you enjoyed this video, I ask that you please subscribe, please like, and please keep watching. Because as you know, this is the year I got the runs in trail running sandals and my bare feet. What can you do? Sometimes the child comes out.